for your word today, Lord. That bring peace upon us, Lord. Let give us understanding, Father. Hallelujah to your name. Luke chapter 9. Hallelujah. Verse 57. Magnificent God. Magnificent God. And I love you today. Ah, you know, we've got to fight. We've got to continue to go on. You know, I, I come into, into this house, you know, and I've, I've been here in this church path for eight years. Since 2002. And I tell you what, I've seen people come and I've seen them go. And it breaks my heart to see them go. Because, you know, we, we form these bonds and these relationships. They become part of the family. When a family member leaves, it's a little sad. You know what I said? Lord, why does everyone leave? How can someone walk in your door and then turn so quickly? You know what? He opened up something to me. If you'll stick with me, hallelujah, we're going to praise you for it. Amen. Right. Luke, if you're chapter 9, verse 57, say amen. 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 And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee wherever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. And there was another. Also said, Lord, I will follow thee. But let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. After we pray. Father, we ask you tonight, Lord, that you would touch and bless your people.